Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Previously, I got to preview the LilyGo TTGo TWatch 2021 in this video. And in the meantime, we worked with Paul's 3D Things Open Smartwatch in this video. I finally got the TWatch 2021 in the mail. Here's the product page. I got the complete kit that includes the TU to T USB to TTL adapter. You need that to upload software to the watch. Now let's unbox the watch, or in this case, unbag it. The watch and the TU2T are in sturdy plastic cases. This bubble wrap holds the 3D printed plastic parts and the battery. I kind of wasn't expecting the battery to be included, but here is the 50-30-35 battery. Here's the wristband. I like how they did the buttons here in pairs. It makes it easier to work with them rather than having them loose individually inside the case. Here are some stickers for the watch bezel. Let's open up the box for the watch itself. You see this buzzer motor hangs on these wires. Here's the header for the battery. Let's go ahead and plug that in. You want to get that plug oriented correctly with the two dimples on top. The watch lights up with Paul's 3D Things default watch face. Now here I ran into a lot of difficulty with the buzzer motor. It didn't fit into the cavity provided in the bottom of the case. There's an exposed cam on the buzzer motor that rotates and that seemed to bind within the cavity of the watch. It didn't seem as though it was seated low enough on the motor shaft. So I cut away and removed some of the plastic at both ends of one of the cavities to make room for the buzzer motor. I even got out my Dremel tool to square off the ends of that cavity. It's a lot of effort trying to get the battery, the battery wires, and the buzzer motor and its wires all fit inside the case. And routing the wires is challenging. And in my attempt here, I either broke off a wire from the buzzer motor or broke the buzzer motor itself. It was buzzing frequently while I was working with the watch early on. I hope you can benefit from my experience and that this will work out better for you. Finally, I get everything seated right and fit the case parts together. Let's close up the case with the supplied screws. I get all the stickers attached. Now we can attach the watch band. That's easy enough. Now we're ready to flash the firmware onto the watch. From the product page, there's a link to GitHub to the Xinyan LilyGo T-Watch 2021 repository. Look for the links in the description below. This particular library uses VS Code, Platform.io, and Python. You can watch my previous TTGo T-Watch 2020 video that shows how to install VS Code and Platform.io. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Python in VS Code for this project. First, you want to download and install the appropriate Python package to your computer. Once Python is installed in VS Code, you need to install this Python extension. It's from Microsoft. Here, you see that you need to associate the VS Code Python extension with the Python installation you just did earlier. Apparently, you could have different versions of Python installed on the same machine. You want to make sure to close and reopen VS Code. Wait for the little IntelliSense refresh to finish anytime you do anything in VS Code. Now we're ready to compile and upload Python projects. So I'm going to go get the smartwatch zip file from within the software folder in the TWatch 2021 
repository. I'm extracting this to my temp folder on the C drive. Now you can open this project in VS Code. A version of this software is what is already loaded on the watch out of the box, but I want to make sure I have the latest version. There might be a few more bells and whistles, who knows. Within the project folders, you want to find the config h file in the include folder. Here you can enter your Wi-Fi, SSID, and password, time zone offset, and there's some other options here concerning network name and port, Bluetooth name, and there's an interesting line here to define additional Bluetooth functionality. It's experimental. We're ready to upload this project to the watch. You need to connect the tu to t adapter to the watch and connect that to the USB port on your PC. Hold the boot button down, press and release the reset button, and your watch is ready to upload. The factory firmware is a mix of Paul's 3D Things firmware and a couple of extra apps. Press the boot button to wake the watch up. Here's the Paul's 3D analog watch face. We can switch to the digital watch face, the binary watch face, press and hold the boot button to switch between apps. Here's the buzzer app, and of course my buzzer motors broke. Here's some interesting statistics about the watch hardware and software. Here's a weird accelerometer game. I guess by moving the watch around you get the green dot to connect up to the yellow dot and I missed. A stopwatch. Start. Stop. And reset. You got the cool leveling app. Now here's the compass app. You need to rotate the watch on all three axes to calibrate the magnetometer. Now, finally, the compass comes through and it's pointing north. I thought this was supposed to respond to the touch screen, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Here's the configuration page. You can connect to your Wi-Fi and automatically update the time. Let's disconnect. And this next page is the configuration UI page. You connect to Wi-Fi and you'll see the username and password and IP address where you can go to a web interface to configure additional parameters on the watch. Now let's download and unzip this XY watch demo. I'm going to extract this one to the CTemp folder. Now in Platform.io, let's close the previous folder and open the XY watch demo folder. You want to drill down into source config folders to find the config h file. And this is where you'll want to enter your Wi-Fi, SSID, and password. That's all there is to it, so we're ready to compile. Off it goes. There, it's done now. Press the boot button and you come to the Lily Go logo. You need to press the down button to get to the watch face. This firmware uses touch on the watch face to maneuver between six screens. Here is the analog watch face, a cute Lilygo watch face, 
and this multifaceted watch face with weather, step count, date, and time. You can press here to update the weather information. Swipe down to the next screen where you can manually or automatically set the time. There, the time is automatically set. We can click OK. We swipe back to this app that controls some relay gadget that I don't have yet. <laughs> Swipe back again, and here's the Compass app. It's pointing north. Now we can swipe back up again to the analog watch face. Well, I hope you enjoyed this look at the TTGO T-Watch 2021. I want to see what else there is in the library for this watch. Check out the links and leave a comment down below. And before you go on to watch more of my T-Watch videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.